Wiring up inputs of type checkbox are similar to inputs of type text. You use the ng control attribute on them and set it equal to the name you gave the control in the control group. For the controls that will be represented by checkboxes, I nested them in control groups. So over in the template HTML file, I'll start with the meets and put a ng control group attribute on the ul element that surrounds them, setting that equal to the name meets. And then on each input of type checkbox in this list, I can add the ng control attribute and set it equal to the corresponding property name I used for those controls. So meat ham, meat turkey, and meat roast beef. And I'll do the same thing for the cheeses, starting with the ng control group on the ul element set to cheeses, and then adding the ng control attributes cheese provolone, cheese cheddar, and cheese swiss. And finally, for the veggies and such, setting up the ng control group on the ul element with a string value of veggies and such, and the ng control attributes veggie lettuce, veggie tomato, and the condiment that apparently tries to pass itself off as a veggie, veggie mustard. Now if I head over to the browser, you can see the form model has all of these set as null by default because that's how they were set up in the component class. And when I start to toggle the check state, you can see the model value changes to the boolean true or false depending on the state. So I set these up as control objects, and Angular knows if they are wired up to an input of type checkbox, or in the case of the previous video, input of type text. And Angular is making the correct decision on how to set that control value and what value type to use for it. This happens through these control value accessor directives Angular has for the different native form elements. Their selectors are a pair of the native element tag and the ng control attribute. So when you put the ng control attribute on your form elements, these selectors match, and Angular knows how to handle working with the value of them. Pretty slick. Another way Angular is making working with forms a breeze.